started off pretty good, you know, my coughing or anything like that. Jeez, but. When it comes to prayer, that's something I never really understood, right? That was something I always struggled with, struggled with when I was a kid. I, I never, and like I'm still like, I guess decently young or whatever, but like I still don't, I still don't, I, I think I still really don't get it. But like I think I get it a lot more than I used to. I think I understand the purpose a little bit more than I did a couple of years ago, right? Because a couple of years ago, it was just, I would say a prayer and then a couple weeks would go by and then I wouldn't say another prayer for a while. Like, unless I went to church or something and I was just reciting something or whatever, right? And I think that's where a lot of people that aren't Catholic kind of get stuck with it. It's, and I think maybe I should stop talking so much about like Catholic versus like Protestant, Catholic versus like non-Catholic or whatever. Because there, there's nothing wrong with like a Protestant praying the um, the Nicene Creed. It does say, I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, but I think when you say the Holy Catholic Church, it kind of means like you can kind of interpret that to mean the, the universal church. It's supposed to mean the Catholic Church. I'm pretty sure like the one that got established sort of a thing. But, like, I think I need to stop talking so much about, like, Catholic versus non-Catholic because I think there's a lot that, like, when, when I speak about things, it just needs to, you know, that's just something I'll keep to myself as to why, but I think I think it's a little bit more helpful as if I still stop speaking so much about, like, this versus that sort of thing, right? But, yeah, with prayer, it was... It was always difficult for me to understand why you would pray or like to get anything out of prayer, you know, personally, or even if there was something to be given out of prayer to like God or something like that, like how I would even go about giving that. Like, I didn't understand like what the hell I was supposed to do with that. And then a lot of people find themselves in that situation. So with prayer, it's like just recently I've gotten, gotten a little bit more into prayer and I'm by no means like season it's just like very recently and it's i who knows how long it's gonna last right like i i'm not like on this huge schedule sort of a thing where it's um like i, I do this certain times a day or i pray that like i make sure like it's it's very it's very much all over the place right and um, a lot of people say you need to be disciplined all this crap and i've never been that way about anything i've never been that way about like exercise or school etc and like i'm also not like an expert or like super developed in a lot of things but um and i know that some people are right and there's gonna there's plenty of saints that died at the age of 18 fantastic prayer life sort of a thing right and if you are looking for that like like fast hard life um might die young just get all the prayer you in, you, you can get in right now Sure, like, the, the, like, like, what I'm saying isn't gonna resonate because, you know, I, I don't think of like life that way. I, I know that I'm, I could die tomorrow. I know I could die in a week from now, sort of a thing. But I don't think of like the way I approach things that way. It's never been like I have, I, I've, I have an extreme amount of patience, and that can be very beneficial. But it also works to like my detriment sometimes because like it's sometimes I'm, I'm patient on things that will never happen, sort of a thing. And um, it's hard to see that until like it gets to the very end, or it gets, or I get like get super far into it, and I'm just like, ah, this was not worth my time at all, like at all, none of my energy, right? And I, I very rarely find myself in that situation because like I still haven't like lived enough life, but like I'm currently doing things that, fuck, I'm sitting everywhere. I'm currently doing things that, um, yeah, if in about like ten years I find out, oh, this is actually a complete waste of time. It'll be, it'll, it'll suck a little bit, but that's also another thing. It's just like, I'm very, because I'm very patient, I think that I wouldn't know what to describe this trade as, but like, I'm also very like, yeah, whatever. Like go with the flow sort of thing. Like if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I, I guess I couldn't give too much of a shit about it. I'll just move on. Um, because I think I realize more often than not that when things happen or when things don't happen equally in both those situations, it doesn't really matter that much. Like, even when you accomplish all these things, or even when you don't accomplish all the things, 
some of the most accomplished people or um, people have had, that have had a lot of setbacks in their life don't generally um, don't across the board come off as like super filled or super super regretful it's it's usually just like whatever you know it, it's it's always just like a mindset that you have that i've noticed you know it's like you can be super grateful for all the stuff that you've accomplished and all the stuff you've been given as a gift and how you've been able to use it but you can also be super grateful for like everything that might have gone wrong and all that you've learned and where you are sort of a thing right so this is kind of like tying back to the whole idea with prayer thing it's like it's difficult to understand like whether um what i'm doing with prayer right now is a good idea right but i think it is i think it is because it, it makes a lot of sense to me and I've, I've seen a lot of things happen not in the sense where it's like um unexplainable but it's just it's it's a little bit exciting and i i enjoy that because i think this is if there's there's nothing wrong with the idea that you need to pursue something in a radical way it's just like once you become like super zealous about something it needs to be what you're becoming zealous about needs to form you in a way that doesn't make you detrimental to everybody around you and yourself right um and a lot of ideologies think oh you don't need to give a fuck what everybody else thinks it's like that's kind of not true but that's kind of true right not like at this like if you're gonna write a book or if you're gonna produce something you kind of not need you kind of need to have that about you where you don't care what everybody else thinks but at the same time you're providing something for people like you're not it's rare that you're making something just for you right so yes you need to get over the barrier that it's not just about you but you also need to understand that you can't care about what anybody else thinks I'm sorry, I, I kind of got the barrier thing wrong, but the barrier where people, you're worried about what people are thinking about you, you can't give a crap, but you also need to care what you're going to give them and what they're going to receive, right? So there's a difference. So the whole idea with prayer for me is, and I know I go off on tangents, I apologize for that, but like I, I like to get to like, I like to explain what my mindset is around these sorts of things before I get into it. Um, so I don't like, you know, like leave too many, leave too many, leave too many holes in my own mind about like, an explanation that's that justifies what I'm about to talk about. So with this whole prayer thing, um, I wouldn't say I've been praying for people that are my enemies in a sense, but I've been praying more. Yeah, I've been praying for people that I've had sort of like indifference to or um, not like in my own mind positive interactions or just objectively positive interactions. It's just been like um, yeah, there's just been turmoil or there's been like issues where I just want to speak to somebody like we got problems or they got a problem with me or something like i just i can sense that there was something like off about the interaction or off about like the way we talked to um we were talking or whatever you know i must have done something in the past or whatever that i just wronged this person so like i've noticed that more and more that when i i guess i pray for people and it depends on what the prayer it isn't like i usually just pray like pretty simple prayers like it's like um not simple but like very structured prayers like the rosary or um the divine office um i haven't gotten into the chaplet of divine of the divine mercy or whatever the crap they call that but um yeah when i offer up those prayers it's usually the rosary for people it's i've noticed that i see those people more often people that I, I've, I've i've forgot about but i was like you know i haven't thought about this person in a while and i didn't leave it off with a good i didn't leave that last interaction off with a good note like it, it was it didn't go the way I hoped it was gonna go. When I pray for them, I see them. Like I see them around campus, and that makes sense. Like this is what I meant. Like it's explainable. It's like it's a coincidence. And then I'm seeing seeing them a little bit more and more. Like it's just more often I'm seeing them, right? And I haven't seen them since I kind of prayed for them, sort of a thing. But I found that a little bit exciting. It's just like even though it's a coincidence, I find it really cool that like I've been like I just love those like little patterns that you see. It's like it's exciting to see. And I'm not saying it all attributed to prayer. But it's definitely cool to see, like, um, you know, things just match up that way sometimes. It just If it's just by chance, I think that's pretty fun. Like, that's pretty dope sometimes, you know. You're thinking about somebody, and then, oh, crap, I haven't seen that person in a long time. And what are the odds I see him right when I'm praying for them? That's pretty crazy, right? Um, same thing with, like, yeah, same thing with a bunch of people that I haven't seen in a while. Like, I'll pray for them, whatever, and I have, and I didn't leave it off on a good note. And um, I'll see them and I'll be like, oh crap, dude, there they are. And we don't talk or anything, but like I see them and I'm like, shoot, dude, that's them. 
you know, and it's um, it's always I think it's it's a failure on my part to not go up to them and speak to them or something like that. But I I, I kind of don't think um, I'm there yet if I ever will get there or even if that is the pr um, correct decision to make. Um, I think I'm just going to kind of leave it at that for now. And if at some point I feel like I do need to speak to the person that I wronged or I left off on a bad note or whatever, um, then, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more. But so far, I just like seeing them to me is enough of a dis it's enough of like it's an it's enough to get me excited to continue doing that. So I'll, I'll, I will find out more about like whether it's a good idea to like um, go say something like that or whatever. Right. Because it's like obvious it's obvious to the both of us that like our last interaction was just like a little weird like i didn't really like we didn't really vibe or something like that and this is what i'm saying like i don't pray for like my enemies i just pray for people that I just like i don't have like really um adversaries i just have people that just like yeah just like weird conversation or something like that or like i got like i got i got the vibe that they didn't like me for some reason you know or something that i did obviously that or something that they did angered me whatever and obviously they could tell that i was angry it's just like little things like that um i pray for these people and not for them to um, be sorry for anything that they did, because like that's a, that's still a very selfish prayer. If you're gonna pray for your enemies, I think you should um, pray for a good life for them, or for a good relationship or communion with God, sort of a thing, um, or for them to obtain things that you wish you had sort of thing so not very material so like this is the thing about praying for your enemies and i think this is why it's so cool to do it is because because they're your enemies you're only gonna ask like let's say there is this all-powerful god you're only going to ask god to give them the bare minimum of what they need right so what do you want your enemies to have? You don't want them to be more powerful than you. You don't want them to um, have more things than you, etc. Right? Like, I guess you can. You, I guess you can. You, I guess you can pray for them to have those things. But it's. Um, I think it's more likely that you'll say, "Look, God, I don't like this person. They obviously don't like me. Um, so I just wish that they." have a stronger relationship with you or whatever or that their family at least is doing fine or that their friendships are flourishing or that whatever they want to do in the career is happening right and whether or not that happens like whether or not those things happen you can never go up to them or go up to anybody and say this is the reason these good things are happening for you is because i prayed for them like, that's not a good idea at all because it's it's probably not true because like what are the odds the first time you pray for somebody you're actually doing a really good job of being genuine with god and speaking with him and that these prayers are going to move in the world and actually affect things i don't know i don't i still don't get a lot of prayer how that works right but i'm going to go ahead and usually assume that that's not the reason things happen and i think a lot of people would be like thank goodness you're not going to do that because that's stupid that's fine like i i kind of agree with people saying like no just because you prayed for it doesn't mean that's why just because it happened and you prayed for it doesn't mean that's why it happened that's why I'm very careful in saying these things. But I get excited. It's like it's something people need to use. I think people need to use to get excited about. It's the same reason people meditate, right? And um, they see all these coincidences in their life where they find themselves in a situation where, because they meditated, they feel more ready to deal with that situation. They're like, "What are the odds that today was going to be the most stressful day? I dealt with so much today with a, like a very calm demeanor and." It's crazy because most other days I freak out and I have much less to deal with, right? Like people find themselves in those really cool, like awkward situ, like really cool coincidental situations. And I think this is the same thing with prayer. It's like you pray for somebody, for something to happen in somebody's life or something to happen in your life. And what are the odds that it kind of happens like almost immediately or it happens soon in the future, right? Very soon for you to notice. Or even if these things you pray for them and you never to see them happen, you can never guarantee that they never did happen, right? Because you're praying for somebody else, right? So you hope that these things happen in their life, right? That's what you're hoping for. And you would love to hear about them, but that's not your that's not your business, I'm pretty sure. Like I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's none of your business whether or not these things are um, communicated to you, whether they happen or not. So yeah, like um, when it comes to praying for somebody, it's it's an important thing to do right one because there's like tangible benefits not just like the esoteric sort of metaphysical benefits that like you can speak about that i'm not necessarily qualified to speak about but the more practical benefits that like i'm i'm very much aware of where it's like you become more calm too if you pray for people you don't like it becomes a situation where it's like you know like sorry 
if you do believe that there is a higher power, whether it's the universe or whatever the crap, right? Something above you, and you ask them to bless or do good for the person you don't like, it makes you think, dude, look, if the universe or God or whatever is willing to do good for this person, right? Like, obviously, I think this person is worthy enough to ask for ask good to have to ask to speak on behalf of to have good happen for them then i think it's i think it makes sense for me to also give them some sort of camaraderie or whatever like give them give them the benefit of the doubt right because like i've found myself in those situations because like i notice people more that I've prayed for because I haven't seen them in years and then all of a sudden they started kind of popping up on campus again like whoa I haven't seen you in years and like I didn't speak to them but I'm like that's crazy like I I just prayed for you and like I had only it had been like two or three years that I haven't seen them right and uh, another situation I found was when I prayed for somebody that I wasn't I told you like I wasn't enemies with but like I, I I didn't feel like we got off on the right foot it was just like a little like I felt like a little tense sometimes but this is what I'm saying like sometimes it's all in your own head about things right so when I, when I prayed for them or whatever, I'm like, you know, like, hope things are going good, family, whatever. They, they just, like, unprovoked in front of a bunch of people said, dude, I, I think you're really cool. I think you're really awesome. And, like, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, dude, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a dick. Like, I'm a piece of shit for that. Like, I'm, like, here I am thinking, oh, this person, we've gotten issues, right? And I try my best to be, like, very kind to people and, like, very... Um, understanding but like i again i get i still get in these mindsets where it's like people i got problems with people whatever right that's just like that's just something i need to eventually develop to get over because i'm just like a human being i'm trying to get better at that sort of a thing and here they are never had I, it's like the with, with when they said that it was like they never had a problem with me like there was never we never got off on the wrong foot it was just me being stupid about it right and now whether it's through their own or through god revealed dude no you were being stupid this person is actually really cool and they're gonna give you props for no for no good reason just for no good reason and it was very soon after I started praying. And I was like, I think that was one of the first two instances, instances that I prayed for somebody and something happened. And I was like, holy crap, I think this works, right? So it's that, sort of that sort of thing, right? And um, this is why I want to be careful. But I also want to be careful when talking about like the benefits because it's like, understand that there could become, like, like I said earlier, there could be things that you can see happen, benefits that are occurring. But at the same time, it's not your place to expect anything on their behalf or on your behalf. Like, you pray for them, they should be nice to you. The fuck are you talking about? That's not gonna happen. You pray for them, something good should happen in their life. Who the hell says? What, like, what are you talking about, right? They could still, I'm not gonna give an example, but they could still, terrible things could happen to them, right? And they could still be terrible to you, right? But that can't be what determines whether or not you want to pray for somebody if you truly hate somebody if you truly feel like you have enemies right and usually it's better probably to start with somebody like you personally know rather than somebody like over the media or something like like somebody some celebrity or some crap like that it's better to start with somebody you know like you have an issue with say like um and whether it's prayer or whether it's doing something for them without them their knowledge like a positive thing for them is probably one of the best things you can do for your like like your own like mental health mental state men like perspective on life um like you your character as a person just like it's it's the way it's a good way to develop yourself as a person to ask or do good for somebody that like you feel like is completely against you or if anything indifferent towards you and you want to win like the favor of you want to see what things happen it's like it's, there's a reason these people hate you you know you like there's nothing it's like people don't owe you anything right so why why should their default be like oh, i'm gonna be kind to you like, yeah that, that might be yours but it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody else's right so it's like it's i think it's always important to pray for people and expect nothing but get excited when some when you do when you do think something happens right but be careful of like what you attribute that to Right. And this idea with prayer, like I was speaking in the beginning, I didn't really understand it when I was younger. It's just, to me at this point, like when, I, when I'm doing it a little bit more and more, 
it's it's more it's it's become more of like a dialogue that I feel like I now get to be a part of and understand and um, get a witness like what I attribute to like being like an effect of that right because like good things are supposed to come out of dialogue right where you speak with somebody it's supposed to like ch not change your life but definitely do something like within your world you, you most people don't speak for nothing most people have something to say because they want something right sometimes people just want to just crack jokes or whatever and that the, the effect is usually like laughter or whatever that's sort of people want something when they speak so when they speak to god and nothing happens they feel like it's like what the hell am i doing I, like, i'm actually saying nothing you know this is the reason people don't speak to themselves right because they want like and this is the reason people speak to themselves like in the sense of like writing a book or making youtube videos or whatever um making music because they see that there's going to be an effect out of it like people are going to benefit from this and um th th that's the same sort of thing with prayer it's like you want to see something happen right you don't want you don't want to talk and then what the hell like is he even listen is is god even listening and um It's the same sort of thing with like music or YouTube videos or books. If you expect like a huge response, which it could happen, definitely. Like I've, like we all know, like plenty of celebrities that have just came out of nowhere because like this is the first album they dropped and it was genius, right? If you expect that sort of level of success with your first like attempt at prayer or songwriting or reading or whatever, I'm um, writing books, sorry then I think more often than not, you're gonna find yourself disappointed, discouraged, and you're probably gonna stop doing it. But if you are doing it just for the sake of like, I'm gonna produce it, and I think this is gonna be a good thing for people to experience. But you don't expect anything necessarily, right? Like if, if you don't get a response, it's like, well, okay, like this isn't good. That's not what, that that isn't what's gonna make or break it, right? It'll give you the option to continue to pray right whether you want whether you want to call it meditation or whether you want to call it something else it gets it gets important because you'll be able to see that it's more powerful than probably most of most any other sort of like dialogue you could have so that's essentially my two cents on prayer i think it's very important obviously and um i think it's best to have a set schedule i think like, I kind of just wing it for the most part. Um, but if not a set schedule, like certain things that you want to talk about consistently, like, so, like a certain prayer, like the rosary, I think is perfect. Um, the divine office, like that's something that's pretty good. Something that's structured and, continued, and continues to grow. So I think those are important to have and important to recite when you want to do prayers. So you can stay consistent with it. And at least like, you know, like once you get this down, I don't really want to do this anymore. I'm going to try this. And then you can kind of like build up your life, your prayer life through that. And you'll see the benefits. Um, that's guaranteed. So, deuces.